In this video, we will be studying about the suppliers of money. See, who supplies money in the economy? There are three parties that are involved in the supply of money. Number one is your government. Number two is your central bank. That is the apex bank, that is the reserve. Bank of India and third is on your commercial banks. Right? See what how government supply the Ministry of Finance. issues notes sorry coins see coins are issued by the ministry of finance and earlier the one rupee note was issued by the ministry of finance so this smaller denomination currency is issued by the ministry of finance then we have the central bank that is the reserve bank of india these issue the currency of paper notes by keeping a minimum reserve with them okay they have to maintain a minimum reserve of gold with them or of the foreign securities with them that is rupees 200 crores they have to keep the reserve with them of rupees 200 crores of the gold or of the foreign curren uh, currency with them and issue the currency of paper notes and the commercial banks. See how the commercial banks help in the supply? They help in the credit creations. They help in the credit multiplier. You go, you you do not have money they will give you loan in order to spend the money in order to satisfy your wants or buy goods and services in the country so in this way your commercial banks create credit so see your commercial banks do not issue the money do not issue the currency but they help in the credit creation so there is a flow of money in the country due to the commercial bank so they are also the suppliers of money in this case so in the modern times the source of supply of money are the government central bank and the commercial banks it is the ministry of finance that issue one rupee notes and all the coins money is mainly supplied by the reserve bank of india which is the central bank of the country RBI issues currency on the basis of minimum reserve system that is they have to keep rupees 200 crore as the reserve of gold or the foreign securities with them on the of these records the gold should be rupees 115 crore it is important that 200 crore they have to keep out of which 115 crore should be the minimum gold gold reserve with them and the rest there can be the foreign exchange Commercial banks create credit on the basis of demand deposits when the commercial bank provide credit to the people or buy the security sold by the Reserve Bank of India, then they are to the supply of money. On the other hand, when they contract credit, they, there is the fall in the supply of money. Expansion and contraction of money supplied by the commercial banks is governed by the monetary policy of the Reserve Bank of India. So, the Reserve Bank of India issues the policies through which the commercial bank do the credit creations or the supply of money in the country. So, these are the three suppliers of the money.